What you should know about the Portuguese Caravel Portuguese Caravel Floating Here we will take a look at the Portuguese Caravel and see what should be done to be safe on the beach. Is there any reason for panic? No. Is it about paying more attention when you go to the beach? Yes of course. You should always pay attention when you go to the beach, and now there is an additional reason to keep your eyes open, especially if you usually go barefoot. According to biologists, they were detected on occasion, but have never been seen as frequently as recently. Recent sightings are undoubtedly unusual, and probably mean that there are more Portuguese caravels in the area. Paul Bologna, from Montclair State University, said that there are definitely many of them out there, which, he added, is not something you see every summer. There are likely to be more sightings in the coming weeks. Portuguese Caravel on a Beach What should you do if a Portuguese caravel bites you? The bites of the creature can be extremely painful and even life-threatening. The contact with the tentacles of the creatures produces an intense pain, which generally leads to the formation of blisters. Bites can also cause abdominal pain, changes in the pulse, chest pain, collapse, headache, muscle spasms and pain, numbness and weakness, pain in the arms or legs, a red spot in relief on the skin, runny nose and watery eyes, difficulty swallowing and sweating. If you are allergic to things like bees, then you will also be more prone to extreme symptoms, and your life may be in danger, but do not worry, your bites can be treated. If there is any medical help nearby, do not hesitate to ask, but if there is not or very far, this is what you should do to treat the Portuguese caravel bite. Carefully avoid any other contact with the tentacles and remove the remains of the organism from the skin, use something to pick them up, do not touch them with your fingers or any other part of the body to avoid a secondary sting. Apply salt water to the affected area. Be careful, do not use fresh water, it will only make it worse. Then apply hot water at 45 degrees C or 113 degrees F to the affected area for 15 to 20 minutes. If you do not have hot water, you can use normal water, but it will not be as effective. If the eyes have been affected, irrigate with plenty of tap water at room temperature for at least 15 minutes. This is one of the most dangerous areas to be stung, so you should definitely go to the doctor. Do not use vinegar. Vinegar can be recommended for some jellyfish injuries, but the Portuguese caravel is not a jellyfish. More on this later, and sprinkling with vinegar increases the reaction with toxins and worsens the bite symptoms of the nematocysts of this species. It has also been confirmed that vinegar causes bleeding. Deaths from accidents of this type are extremely rare and, in general, medical assistance is not required, but it is not necessary to ask for it. It's better to prevent than to cure. You three favors, 1. Share with your friends and family. 2. Subscribe. 3. Give it I like.